Hello guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we are going for Logix Pro Timer. Click on common to select go online option. Click on change icon to see the instructions panel. Click simulations to select IO simulate. Drag and drop open bit and give I, 1 over 0 address. Right click to drop down and click edit symbol. I name the bit as on 1. Click on timer, counter then drag and drop ton. Double click to edit and enter. Note that in Logix Pro, T4, 0 is always B timer bit. And you can always edit the figures to differentiate. Enter an input preset, and know that the preset reads in seconds. In which I put 200 seconds. Akam always display the actual timer readings. I drag and drop the open and output bits to the 001 ROM. Drag and drop the timer address to the open bit. And edit by double and I add slash n. Click and write to drop down for edit symbol. Address like this, is always call timer enabled bit in Logix Pro. Drag and drop output address for the output bit. And I name it light 1. In this way you can drag and drop output bit to the end of the timer n, and give it your address. It's still the same thing, you can remove it by click and right click to drop down and click cut. I drag out the open and output bit to the next rung. And drag and drop the timer address to the open bit. I edit the address and add slash tt. Which address like this will always be time timing but in Logix Pro. I drag and drop output address to the output bit, and name it light 2. I drag and drop open bit to rung 003, which I also drag and drop the timer address to it. Output bit is drag and add. And I edit the address by add slash dn to it. Address like this will always call timer done bit in Logix Pro. I add output address to the output bit and I name it light 3. Click common and go online. Always click download to download the program to the simulator. And after it done, click on run. I click on tongue simulator switch and see what happens. The on one is on, which power the timer. Timer n known as timer enable bit is on, which power the light one. The tt known as timer timing bit is on, because the timer in on timing mode as you can see it also display on the acom of the timer. But the timer dn no as timer done bit is not yet on because the timer has not reached the preset time which mean lights 3 2 can't be on. Let wait for it. Now you can see the tt and the light 2 go off, and dn and lights 3 is on. I click to off the tongue simulator switch and everything go off immediately. I on the switch again the timer start is reading again. from and give results like previous. I off the switch, and always click on PGM no as program mode if anything need to be changed in the program. Click and right click to drop and I click on cut to remove ton no as timer on delay. Click on change icon then click on timer counter. Drag and drop TOF no as timer off delay. Double click and enter to auto load the address and the preset come up because it have the memory of the previous time been used. So I make it 201 seconds this time. Click on change icon. And click on download. Click run. I on the switch and see what happens. N is on. DN is on but TT is not on and not Akam display as well. I off the switch. The N bit go off and the TT on an Akam start displaying instantly. After the timing the both go off. I repeat the action for you to confirm.
you can see the results as same as the previous. Click on the PGM to change the program. Click on the challenge icon. Option to drop down and cut the TOF. Head to timer counter. Drag and drop RTO retentive timer on. Input detail. Go online. Download. Click run. On the switch to see the action. You can see the N and DN is active, while the TT is off. Off the switch. N go off, while DN and TT is off. So to correct the program. Click PGM. Click on change icon. Click user. Drag and drop open bit to rung 004. Give it input address. And I name it on 2. Head to timer counter. Drag and drop res nose reset bit to the rung 004. Drag the timer address to the reset bit. Right click to change switch from tongue switch to push button switch. Click on change icon. Download the program. Click run. You can see DN is still active. Click on the on 2 which is the reset switch. And DN go off, which means the timer is fully rest. On the switch to see what happens. The N and TT is active, while DN is off. After the timing, DN is active and TT go off. I off the switch, N is off while DN still remain active. To make DN go off for RTO, you will always need to reset. I click the reset switch and DN go off. Let repeat the process again to confirm. You can see we arrive at same result. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.